the fact remains that relevant to related to the election of last summer, we don't know what the vote count was. So we are certainly not in a position in the United States of America to declare who the winner is. What we have called for and what we will continue to call for is an inclusive dialogue that leads to a new election under uh, the auspices of the OSCE and international observers, uh, which is to be held after the unconditional release of all That is what will take us to a legitimate uh, new leader of Belarus, and we really look forward to that. But what we have seen is that diplomatic conversations with the regime in Minsk um, have infrequently led to um, engagement and response. And so what we have found is that it is the language of pressure, it is the language uh, of hard tools like sanctions uh, that elicit, um, or that is how we seem to be most effective in conveying the views of the West and rejecting this transnational repression, in rejecting um, uh, the intimidation, the threats, the failure of Belarus to meet its international obligations. So we will continue as, as the regime lives outside of its obligations, we will continue to look for additional tools of pressure to affect the decision-making calculation inside